Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have sent your Son, the Lamb of God, to take away our sins. Today, we see the empty tomb, and we are reminded that he not only died for our sins, but he rose victoriously. And now he sits at your right hand. Keep us fed with this message. Keep us tied closely to your word that you have grafted us in. Keep us fed and enable us to continue to follow you that we may share what you have shared with us. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. We join in the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in the Bible. But these, we have heard today, are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in his name. For you once were in darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Live as children of light and find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. That is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Yeah. 